Hey everybody, this is Kestrel over here at Saguno Software, and we're doing another monthly deep dive. This time, it's time for June. Now, for June, there's a lot of different things going on. Uh, we've got Father's Day, Pride Month, Juneteenth, and believe it or not, we do need to start thinking about July 4th because it's a big event and it's right at the beginning of July, so you need to be ready by the end of June. Next, I'm also gonna talk to you about the tip of the month. I've got something that's gonna save you some time and I think make you some more sales. So let's go ahead and dig right in. All right, up first, Father's Day. This is a very big holiday for gift giving. Um, so similar to Mother's Day, it's coming up on June 20th. So you're gonna wanna figure out when your last shipping day for Father's Day is. Because of course, people wanna be able to have their gifts to give to their father or have it arrive at their father's house around Father's Day. A rule you wanna keep up here is, hey, if it's a gift giving holiday, I need to make sure to know when I need to ship things out by because a last day to get it there on time message normally perform pretty dang well. So another thing to remember also is if you do local delivery, you're gonna wanna make sure to show that off or same day delivery, because it could be that somebody maybe had a last minute, like, oh no, what do I get dad? And you could come in and really help them out. If you do anything special like gift wrap, engraving, some kind of personalization for gifts, that can be another thing to really make sure people know about in your messages, because it could really put you ahead against other people who aren't doing that. Another thing to remember when you're thinking about Father's Day is really what kind of pain point do you solve for dads out there? Even if you don't sell white New Balances, you could still have products that dads really, really want. And so creating a gift guide for your audience can be really helpful and them kind of narrowing down, hey, what should I get my dad this year? Here are some great examples. Here's one from Brooks, where what they did was took really candid images and put them in their messages. They probably got this from social media. And so it's a, it's a great feel good message all about dads who inspire them and then they have dad approved gear down at the bottom so it looks really authentic and really feeds into the brand which is nice and then we've got something from untuck it here and what i thought was cool about this is they're doing matching outfits so of course that's very sweet and i love the idea of you know the gift for dad is also the gift for the the young son so it all kind of pulls together in the general theme of father's day up next we have Pride Month. Now this actually spans the course of June. And of course there's different events that correlate with Pride. And if this is something that really feeds into your niche, into your products, then of course this is gonna be a big deal. You're gonna wanna really represent yourself along with this cause. Now the thing with cause marketing is at the end of the day, if you're representing the cause, you wanna make sure that you're also benefiting the cause. So for instance, you could say um, a certain percentage of sales are all going to go towards a nonprofit that helps in this specific area. That's a classic example, right? We see that a lot in um, November, December. We see a lot of cause marketing. Another thing that's very popular, of course, for Pride is to have Pride colored items. So you see the rainbows quite often. And normally those products are then tied back to also some kind of giving. I would say the biggest thing is we also wanna remain really authentic. Here are three really great examples. We've got CB2. What they've done is a nice header up top and then some great copy about an event that they're having. And then they've got a great image below that. Then we have Velvet Caviar, and what they're doing here is donating um, money to a cause. And they're not just saying what the cause is, they're really diving into what the cause does and why they believe in it, which is fantastic. And again, the layout is very approachable. We've got a big headline, and then we've got an image, and then we've got some great copy here. And then finally, we have Bulletin which is selling products that are made from people but in the LGBTQ community. So here, we've got the logo, we've got some copy, and then we have two columns representing some product. So I specifically chose these examples because I think they're also really approachable for people to make. Then we have Juneteenth, and you could also see this, you know, Juneteenth and Pride, they're both celebrations and could be seen as cause marketing. And definitely in both, if you are a part of the community around the event, it's a great time to be able to represent yourself. And that's very true with Juneteenth. If you are a small black owned business, it's a great time to be able to represent yourself and kind of show off what you've been able to do and be able to accomplish. It's also a great time to talk about celebrations that might be going on or maybe have an event or partner with maybe an event that's going on. At the end of the day, these are 
are the types of messages that really help reinforce who you are to your audience. So you can choose to participate in them or not. For me, you know, anything, any time that a brand is really expressing kind of more about who they are, I think that there's that bit of authenticity that really helps them stand out against other brands. And I think that that can be very helpful. Now, next up, we've got 4th of July, which like I said, it's the first Sunday in July, which means that if you sell anything that is red, white, and blue, you're gonna wanna make sure that people know about it and can get it before that fourth, that first Sunday in July. So 4th of July, traditionally, you know, big sales go on, but also celebrations and people want to wear their red, white, and blue stuff or have their red, white, and blue hats or whatever it may be. And so, you know, if you have any products that align with it, that of course, it's a great chance to show those off as well. Here's two examples that I would say I see the most. You've got like a straightforward sale. That's what Tommy Hilfiger is doing here. It's like, hey, 40% off entire store, Woo, big sale. And they've got some red, white, and blue, and that's great. And then another approach from David's Tea is we've got America's birthday cake product. So they have a product that is actually red, white, and blue. And of course the idea would be that you would have that probably around and it looks really nice. So it'd be great to have out for people when they come over for 4th of July. Either way you go, I think that it's an event that definitely does well in the retail space. 4th of July sales typically do quite well. I've also seen them do quite a bit of timed sales. So flash sales around 4th of July along with bundling. So those are some other options. Now, of course you can check out our template store. We're going to have a ton of great templates that go along with all of these holidays and getting into our tip of the month. I've got something called automated remailing for you. Now this is a new feature that you might have seen in the Saguno app. It is great. It makes it just so easy to set up a remail. A remail is when you send the same message to your audience who did not open. So in that way, you're kind of getting more mileage out of one message. And to your subscriber, let's say you know they got the message, they didn't open three days later, it's kind of another chance to get them to open that message. Now, there are some rules here. First, you want to change the subject line so that obviously they think it's a, a new message. It's something new. That first subject line didn't work, by the way. So you need something new in the subject line to hopefully get them to open. And you're gonna wanna use this sparingly. I know it can seem like, oh great, I'll remail every single message. No, 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 no. Nope, that is not what I said. <laughs> Please don't do that. Uh, what you wanna do is if you only send monthly or maybe twice a month, pick a special message and maybe remail that. So for instance, if you have a big 4th of July sale, um, you could have like a last chance message that goes out and that could be a great remail. You can set up set it up in the app. It just takes a couple of clicks and you change the subject line. Very easy to do. All right, so that is actually all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in to the June deep dive. We're gonna do July next. Let me know in the comments below if you have any requests or any questions, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.